This, my good fellows, is one kick-ass superbike. When you say Harley Davidson and superbike in the same sentence, it doesn't make sense until you realize what you're looking at here. This is a Harley Davidson V-Rod, which was a combination project between Harley Davidson and Porsche. What happens when the when the, the two two of the best manufacturers in the world get together and their brainchild is to build a world-beating superbike? Well, this is it right here. This is this is the same bike that Harley sent, the, this is the same basic bike that Harley, Harley Davidson won four world championships with the Banton Hines Screaming Eagle Destroyer uh, in 2006. They took this bike, they put a stroker crank, a big bore, high compression pistons, cams, valves, throttle body, some velocity stacks, and, and pneum pneumatic shifter and a shift light on it. And they went 6.8 seconds in the quarter mile at nearly 200 miles per hour, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, this one here is a much milder street version of that same bike. And uh, the V-Rod was conceived as a muscle bike, a super bike slash muscle bikes by, by Harley Davidson. It was manufactured from 2001 till 2017. This is a 2002 model. It's 1131 cc's of fire breathing dragster. It's 122 horsepower, 86 foot pound of torque, has a uh, um, huge rear tire, low long center of gravity. It looks like a drag bike standing still. Made in Kansas City, Missouri, in the United States of America. It came right from the factory with drag style bars. The 49 millimeter inverted forks are the best pair of forks to that date, up to that point that Harley ever put on a motorcycle. Uh, the brakes are outstanding. And it is the first double overhead cam, liquid cooled four valve engine. Harley Davidson had never made a liquid cooled motor before. It just, it, it feels like a super bike but it looks like a Harley, long, low, lean, mean. The frame, if you take a close look at the frame, it's a hydro-formed frame. Google that, you'll see what that means. Um, just a kick-ass machine, and it's capable of 40 miles per gallon. The gas tank, speaking of miles per gallon, is under the seat. The gas tank, or what appears to be the gas tank, is actually the air box for the engine. So Harley Davidson originally built this not only be a kick-ass street bike, a, a kick-ass super bike, but it was their platform for the drag racing competitions, which we'll go over in a second, because I actually purchased the trailer from Ann Paluzzo, the race team manager that they used to haul the Harley-Davidson drag bikes in. And I see one of these in my future, guys. Um, I'm gonna end up buying one of these myself, because I'm, I'm somewhat of a uh, of a Harley-Davidson uh, guru slash gearhead. I have a turbocharged Harley-Davidson CVO Dyna, and I have a, um, FXR. I think the next thing on my bucket list is, is probably one of those Harley Davidson destroyers. The, the only problem is they only made 625 of them and most of them are in private collections, but they're out there. Uh, they came from the factory with drag bars. It wasn't a street legal motorcycle, but I'd like to have one of those in the museum. If you're watching, we'd like one. Yeah, if you, if you have a Harley Davidson destroyer and you want to display it, loan it to the museum, please, we'd love to have it. Um, they made a street legal version of that, had the same paint job. I think that's probably what I'll be looking for is a street legal version of the ride. This this bike right here um, has very low miles, only 10,000 miles on it. Uh, came from the factory with the solid disc wheels that you see front and rear. Um, the uh, rear tire on this one, this is the 2002 model. I think it was 2006 they came up with the next model. And unfortunately, uh, they kind of went in the wrong direction. The next model was 37 pounds heavier. It had a massive 240 millimeter rear tire, which looked the part in would help sell on the showroom floor but wouldn't handle as good as this one which is 37 pounds lighter with a 180 size rear tire it actually handled better turned better was lighter and was faster so uh th this 2002 model was actually faster than the one that replaced it so uh harley davidson's motto and, and many of the r racing manufacturers motto early on in in the 20s and 30s when they were doing drag racing and hill climbing and racing Daytona and all the different races was win on Sunday, sell on Monday. So Harley Davidson built a bike that was capable of being a world beater in the uh, modified configuration. It was a good platform to start with. This has been completely gone through by the techs here at Kaplan Cycles. Um, it has, if you zoom in on the front tires, get in real close and personal on that front tire and see if you can zoom in on those hairy nubs on there. I showed them both tires. They're absolutely brand new. I rode them up and down the street a couple times. It, it also, these are Dunlop D207 18055ZR, Z rated rear tire and a Z rated 19 inch 208 front tire. 
It has a brand new fuel pump. Factory Harley Davidson fuel pump has brand new fuel injectors. This is why it runs so good. All the fluids have been changing. The primary fluid, the engine oil, the brake fluid, everything's new on it. It has a new battery on it and new spark plugs. Um, the uh, total it also has new handlebar grips on it too. The total in parts was about $1,200. We fully rebuilt and cleaned the fuel system, replacing the fuel injectors and the fuel pump, cleaned the fuel tank, and it's got fresh VP110 non-ethanol fuel in it. We replaced the battery, new spark plugs, cleaned the air filter, changed the engine oil and the oil filter, changed the antifreeze and the primary fluid, replaced the front and rear tires, and replaced the grip. So it's been completely fully serviced, and uh, it's ready to go. It was 15 hours in the service department. In the detail shop, it was steam cleaned, degreased. They cleaned all the chrome and aluminum, polished the wheels, touched up the frame, Clean the mirrors, gauges, polish the forks, um, and uh, buffed and polished the tins. So mechanically, the bike's at 10. Cosmetically, well, um, it's got a little, it's a 20 years old. It's not a brand new bike. It's got 10,000 miles and it's 20 years old. Uh, it's got a, a little bit of patina uh, and a couple of spots on it. By that, I mean like a little bit of, uh, like up here on the top of the frame right there, there's a tiny bit of, I mean, that can be touched up with a little touch-up paint, little, little, just a little bit of patina, as you'd expect from a bike that's not brand new, you know. Um, the forks uh, um, got a couple little pits on them, but uh, overall, excellent bike. It does have the Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle exhaust system on it, as you can see here. This is a Harley-Davidson upgrade from the factory and uh, the dealer-installed dealer item, so... It definitely wakens it right up a bit. The paint job on it has the Evil Knievel number ones on the tank. And you can see the Screaming Eagle stickers on there. This is a Screaming Eagle jacket from the same period that is in my personal collection uh, that I ride when I'm riding my Scream Screaming Eagle CBO Dyna. Great bike. If you have any questions, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Love the sound of this thing, man. What a kick-ass V-twin. Liquid cooled, giant radiator, has a fan on there to assist in cooling. That's not why we're down here. I wanted to show you the Screaming Eagle trailer. This is the actual Screaming Eagle Destroyer trailer that Harley Davidson Corporate used to bring the V-Rod and a dyno to events all over the country. The the, uh, the uh, Powerade Drag Racing Series. This is Vance and Hines sponsored V-Rod. And as I had said earlier, it did almost 200 miles per hour in the quarter mile. You can see the frame is the same frame and uh, highly modified version of this bike. But they uh, also bought a stock V-Rod and would do dyno runs all over the country. So this is part of our fleet now. Uh, this is a Featherlight trailer. And I thought it was appropriate to come down here and show it to you guys with the bike that's sitting in front of it.